The second step is to tip the student over, tell them to count to 10. Once they've counted to 10, they're going to tap the boat and you'll roll them up. As you can see in this first clip, the student was quite stressed out, so it, he didn't exactly get to 10. But just do it again, and as you can see now, he's a lot calmer and he counted to at least, you know, well, around 5 or 6 seconds. Step 3, teaching the C to C movement, also known as the hip flick. Really important that you don't go on to the next stage until the student is able to perform the movement without pushing with their arms or lifting their head. So pretty much just using their hips. Step four, now I'm going to teach the first static position, which is the setup position. So just get them to wrap around their kayak, pushing that paddle blade into the water. As you can see here, left ear on left shoulder, creating that C shape with the spine in the boat. And uh, nice and relaxed, holding onto that paddle. Here I'm teaching the student the out and away movement. This just gives him an idea of what he's expected to do when he's upside down. It's pretty much the only way you can teach the out and away without actually going over. The next static position, the finish position. Get the student into the correct finish position. So W with his elbows, looking at his leading blade, control hand to the connecting shoulder, uh, right ear on right shoulder in this instance. Right on. So hopefully by now the student is comfortable being upside down. He or she knows how to set up and how to finish the roll and has a slight basic understanding of the out and away movement. And of course also the most important movement, the C to C, the hip flick. So I'm just pulling him back onto me. I'm supporting him. So his head is still above the water. As you can see here, he's quite nervous. This is his first time and he's being watched by a, you know, quite a large group. So what I would do here, if I wasn't shooting a how to roll video, is I'll take him back to just tipping up him upside down and doing the C to C, getting him more comfortable underwater and just drilling those basic movements. The next step is to tip the student upside down, so head under the water. Then you can pull their blades up and to set up for them, tap the boat, and then roll up together. Just make sure you give them really simple instructions, so just thinking at a f uh, about a few things at once. As you can see here, it didn't really go as planned. <laughs> 